Hello, welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live right now in Greenpoint, Brooklyn at the Illegal Mezcal headquarters with Super Blue. Super Blue, thank you guys for joining us. <laughs> yeah, man, we very much appreciate you guys coming by on show day. I know there's an early show and there's a late show at the Blue Note tonight, so thank you for starting your day with done. us. Yeah, and can we, before we dive in, Kurt, can we introduce everybody? Sure. Uh, we've got the, the, the lovely and talented Corey Fonville. Corey. The hyperbolic and ubiquitous <laughs> DJ Harrison. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, the double fisted mayhem known as Charlie Hunter. Charlie Hunter. All right, cool. Well, thank you guys so much for coming and doing this. We're about to hear three songs from the self-titled debut record, the Grammy-nominated uh, self-titled debut. Can you, uh, can you tell us what you guys want to do first? We are going to hit it with Sassy. Sassy, here we go. Step up, I can't but listen to the singer. Give her swift, say a prayer. When money's stiff, she'll make it on a riff. She turns the major into minor cool. Taking the crown of town and down, she is the baddest around. Take a top into a dinger. Rose in St. Vaseline. She keeps it loose. I've had it all removed. Ten thousand hours on a thousand gigs. Taking the crown up, down, and down. She is the baddest round. She's brazen, simply amazing. She's brazen, shit is her reason. Her vibrations are brain and and her phrasing's just like a saxophone Working in the daytime Jamming every night Blowing over changes that would give most cats a fright People call cassettes tape That's her attitude Acting like the devil But when she sings her blues She's going through Sassy, take another swig. Now she's getting evil with her people. Cigarette, final set. Don't wanna miss a prank or two, a kiss. Even the trumpet player's smiling now. She's walking the line, cutting in rhyme. She's divine all the time. Working in the daytime, jamming every night. Hanging with the fellas till she's ready to ignite. People call her. Cause she knows her mind She became a living legend From songs she read before From songs she read before People call her sassy Everybody wanna sing like sassy Acting like the devil 
Conversation with the people. We are going to have a conversation, I think, about Tom Waits right now and about Cody Chestnut and about the uh, there's an interesting and diverse mix of, uh, of artists. Who you, I mean, mix between your original compositions and uh, and covers from some jazz greats, but also I mean, interesting artist decisions like Cody Chestnut and Tom Waits. Can you talk a little bit about the, the decision making process that goes into choosing those artists? Is it something that you know is going to agree with your voice or is going to go to a strength of one of the artists that you're working with here? Or how does, how does that work for you? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, yeah, when I want, uh, well, first of all, yeah, I mean, everything that has to come out has got to be, the first thing is authenticity. It's got to be something that's plausible. Uh, since I'm going to be the guy that's up here delivering it to the people and what have you, there are certain uh, bendy things that if we try to bend them to fit my thing, they're, they're gonna break and that, that's not hip. Uh, so, uh, and yet at the same time, between us, you know, there's a, a remarkable wealth of listening habits and uh, a catalog in the brain. So, you know, everybody contributes uh, on all fronts and, you know, uh, I think the way it works in the band is, you know, the best idea wins. Uh, and it's not even about who comes up with it or, or, or any ego stuff. It's just like, yep, we all seem to know that's the answer to the question. Every time you, you step into the studio with even the most rudimentary idea, it might seem uh, uh, obvious to people. You know, you have a series of questions that you've got to answer. Well, okay, this groove is killing. What's the right vibe of, on harmony that goes with this groove? And once the right melody that flows over this, if the groove is what you start with. Uh, if you start with the lyric, it works the other way. Wow, what does this lyric sound like harmonically and what's the tempo setting? And you, know, you got all these questions to answer. And when we made Super Blue, it was over the COVID time and these cats could get together uh, safely in Virginia, but I was holed up in Chicago and so they just sent me tracks and they were all killing uh, and, and, I, and, and, you know, that was when I really discovered what I was in for because they sent the tracks and all the rhythm tracks were killing and everything was beautiful. And I said, well, what's the melody? And they said, that, that's, that's for you. Now it's your turn. Do you come up with that? I said, what's the lyric? They said, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the, like I say, best idea wins. That's the most important thing. It's for the, it's for the best possible group, you know, outcome. Well, that's great that you were able to, to maintain that kind of communication across distance and not being in the same physical spot together. Because, I mean, that kind of conversation can be a sensitive one, and egos can kind of leak in through email. I mean, it's, it's easy to misinterpret what somebody said if you're just looking at that. But yeah, it, it's you know, great that you guys all, were able to communicate clearly and, and arrive at the you best You know, we're decision. all people of goodwill, and even though everybody, uh, I, uh, you know, everybody has a say in what the thing is, we all also have, each of us has our own specialty. So I'm going to defer to Corey when he says, bro, I think the groove sits about in this pocket because he's the pocket guy. Or, you know, if Charlie says, here's what the van, you know, I mean, I would, even when it comes to the jazz standard stuff or the jazz uh, uh, compositions, I would say, hey, Charlie, I'm hearing this groove right about here is, that's where it feels funky to me. And he'd say, well, take it three clicks back and then it'll be there or whatever. And then he would be right. So, you know, as opposed to the lyric thing, I would run a lyric by them and they'd be like, yep, you got it. I'd be like, yeah, you got something for me? They're like, well, this one word is weird. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not an ego driven thing, man. We're all just trying to play good music together. Good. Well, man, I think that that the result of a thousand 
well-made decisions um, is excellent. I'm enjoying the record very much. I'm enjoying this performance very Thank much. You. And there's still two more songs coming up. Uh, what do you guys want to do second today? Uh, we're speaking of jazz things that we converted into this uh, into this milieu, uh, we're going to do a Wayne Shorter composition. And Wayne uh, recorded this w uh, just in a duo setting with Herbie Hancock a bunch of years ago. Um, and he graciously, uh, once again, has let me write a lyric to a thing. Uh, and this is called Where to Find It. Because when you talk about questions, man, all I've got in life are questions. So that's a running theme for me, is like, where, where are we going to find the answer to this? So here is Where to Find It. Find it in a line of facts not figuring, brain waves triggering. Find it in a footfall, feeling like a phantom's faintly beckoning, fitful reckoning. Failing candles muttering when it's guttering. Find it in the hopeful, helpless stuttering song I'm uttering. Find it in becoming drumming like a run. Thank you. 
All right, thank you. Thank you for that one. And um, I forget, are we, are, is the third one an original tune or is the third one a- uh, Third uh, one's original. Is original. So when you're, when you're writing those lyrics, um, I know the beat generation and the poets of, the, of that era um, have a lot to do with, uh, with your interest in life, your interest musically. Can you talk about some of the ways that, um, whether directly or indirectly, that their, their spoken word art works its way into your brain and comes out through your music? Well, I mean, yeah, just, you know, uh, the chief thing these days is just that they uh, put into play or kept in play or amplified the play of spoken word items over, you know, music. Uh, improvised, semi-improvised music, sometimes improvised lyrics, improvised items uh, of spoken word over things. Um, and, you know, there's a little flavor of that Kerouacian uh, element uh, in many of the lyrics that I come across with, I'm not sure it's, it's as conscious, uh, it's not very conscious most of the time. There's one piece on the record called Dharma Bums that's a distinct tip of the hat. Um, but everything else is, you know, it, it, you want your influences to have been so digested uh, as a writer that uh, their things are at least unconscious, if not you know, they've been absorbed so completely that it's fused with your DNA now, and that it is you speaking in that uh, dialect or that tongue. Uh, and at the same time, it's 2022, it's not 1958 or whatever. So that stuff is in there, but here we are. Uh, and confronting this interesting time of the world. Yeah, well, I think I think it's beautifully done. I mean, it's uh, yeah, uh, digested the way that you've said and and translated in a way that does make sense for a, for a current era for what this weirdness that we're right in the middle of this mess that we're in. And um, speaking of Jack Kerouac, you guys are very much on the road right now. There's uh, uh, today is uh, is the Blue Note. You guys are in D.C. tomorrow at the Hamilton Cape May uh, the Exit Zero Jazz Fest in Cape May, New Jersey, and then Ardmore Music Hall on Sunday the fifteenth. Um, are you are you looking for in particular to any of I know you're across Europe in June is that true Europe at some point in the near future it's all coming man yeah yeah um, is there the are there any of those dates that you're in particular looking forward to getting back to whether it's because of the city or the food or the people that are there or, oh, man, um, or know, anything I've, you know I, I, I know these cats have their own their own uh, favorite spots I've, I've got a bunch of favorite spots and it's always because of the folks you know you, you I've been out here for 25 almost 30 years now on the road uh, and that means that I've been able to forge friendships, you know, around the world and have, m you know, memorable people who have crossed my paths that I'm only going to see in Singapore or I'm only going to see in Paris because nobody's moving around like we are. Um, but at the same time, you never know what you're stepping into. Um, one day it's the Shangri-La and the next day you're in some garage someplace. You know, that's just what it is. Uh, and so you try to embrace all the parts and make the most of it and there are beautiful people everywhere and the opportunities to learn, to listen, to grow, to take another chance are on every occasion and it's for us as musicians and I think us as people to try to be open to those things and try to be available to them and to try to make the most out of every occasion so that it's plausible that every location we hit becomes a favorite location. Very well said, man. Thank you for joining us in this particular uh, Greenpoint Brooklyn location. And, um, nice and yeah, man, I love I like it here. I like this spot, man. Bottomless Mezcal. Illegal Mezcal, <laughs> bring it to me. I'm, I, let's, let's do a week here. Bring in the people. So I like the aesthetic. The whole thing is good. Yeah, hey, man, we might do a week with these guys in Oaxaca, Mexico, potentially. That's, uh, the more I say it, the more likely it seems that they're actually going to send us down there. They sent us to Guatemala. It was a blast. And, nice. uh, yeah, look forward to whatever's next. Um, and thank you again for joining us here today. I know today is show day so thanks for spending your time here there's still one more song to be shared off of the self-titled record what do you guys want to do third today uh, this is our kind of encouragement for everybody because the world is what it is and all we can do to really control anything is control our reaction to things so let's do that find it this is manic panic epiphanic Fine. 
time I got some reassurance that things are gonna work this time you know that we've been walking a dangerous line while all the world's been spinning on a dime we go leaning out on both the roof should try to sit still for real we go sliding up and down the night edge we like to get the both of us killed but, but he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole So far, so fast. We're like bottled lightning, but how are we supposed to make it last? Love is life's assurance, no matter how the dice get cast. You know, the wheel of fortune will turn again. What's present now will soon be past We go leaning out to buck the road ledge We should try to sit still Who to say sit still We go on sliding up and down the night edge We like to get the both of us killed But he's got
<laughs> Thank you, Pace People. Thank you, Illegal Mess Call. Yes. Thank, thank you, you. Kurt. Thank you very much. Charlie, thank you. Corey, thank you. DJ, thank you. Uh, have a great show tonight. Have two great shows tonight at the Blue Note. And uh, tr travel safely. And also, there's new music on the way. I forget how much we said is public information and how much Super is... Super Blue 2, bringing it. Yeah, yeah. Super Blue 2 in 2022. The Omicron Variations. <laughs> 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 on the way <laughs> all right there you have it super blue 2 on the way guys thank you so much and uh we did it let's get a drink all right